Plague YouTube, and welcome to the new Triumph Street Triple RS. A very nice looking machine indeed. This one's got the uh, arrow cam on it, which sounds awesome, of course. Uh, and yeah, being the RS model, it's got all the features, um, all the toys and all sorts of stuff on it, including quick shifter. Uh, you've got the display, which we'll go through in a minute, uh, and much, much more. Right, yeah, quick walk around then. Um, let's have a look. Let's start at the front as usual. Yeah, twin Brembo front brake discs. They they stop. They, they, they really do stop you quite well. They're very good brakes, they are. Uh, the usual uh, street triple styled uh, headlights. The, like, the like, bug eye headlights on this. And uh, you've got a daytime running LED light in there as well. In fact, if I turn it on... Typical. Someone wants to park right where I'm filming. I don't think you really see it in this light, but yeah, there's uh, the LEDs that are on there, and then you can uh, switch that over to the normal normal headlights. Uh, upside down forks, uh, and I, I do like this uh, striping detail here, the red and like silver stripe there. That's pretty cool. I like them sort of colours. LED indicators, uh, bar and mirrors on the RS version. Uh, the standard version comes with normal stem indicators, but yeah, these are bar M ones, which I think are the same as what you get on the Street Cup. They certainly look the same anyway. Uh, quick shift R, of course, and uh, it's got this nice, uh, like, gullwing style swing arm on there. Single rear brake disc, of course. Uh, this one's also had a tail tidy put on, which I think uh, makes it look a lot better. The standard one has uh, just this massive plastic thing that comes out way too far and uh, just looks ugly. Uh, but yeah, that's a little bit better on there. Let me show you the display, because yes, this is what you get on the uh, the RS version. Uh, you get what can only be described as a television, really, <laughs> um, which is also adjustable. Uh, with this here, you can adjust the pitch of it. Oh, hello. Yeah, you can adjust the pitch of it. So yeah, if you're getting a bit of uh, getting a bit blinded by the sun reflecting off it, you can uh, change the angle of it, which is quite a useful thing to have, really. All right, switch it on. There's quite a bit of reflection already, so I'm not sure how well you're going to see this. Uh, there we go. It's white at the minute. It does have an auto contrast, um, so when you're in, you know, like going through shaded trees or through a tunnel, uh, it will turn the backlight black instead of white, like it currently is. And then you've also got um, several different display modes, so uh, you can uh, change the style of how it looks as well. Which, in fact, if I go over the controls first, a little bit different on this one. Uh, you've got uh, that, which switches uh, between full beam and low beam when the headlights are on. Currently, it's in daytime running mode with just the LED. But if I switch that down, that's onto headlight. Uh, and then, yeah, that'll switch full beam on and off. Uh, it's there on display. Yeah, off there, on there. Or if it's in daytime running light mode, which it is in now, um, that is just a normal headlight flash. Uh, that's the mode button, which uh, we'll go through in a minute, all the different rider modes. Uh, indicators. Now, with this switch, there's not really a lot of travel in it. So it's it takes a while to get used to, uh, but y you don't feel like you've actually switched the indicator on. Um, I mean, the, the click to cancel is quite obvious, but the sort of there's not really much sideways movement, so um, yeah, you're not sure if you're actually indicating or not. Um, and when you are indicating, uh, it's up on either side, like so. Uh, under there, there's the horn, nice and loud, not bad. Uh, and then that is the OK switch. Uh, well, it's an OK switch slash joystick. It's uh, you got left, right, up, and down, and OK. Uh, which goes through the modes, which we'll uh, look at in a minute. Over on this side, uh, hazard warning lights, if you need them. Uh, all in, in one starter slash kill switch there. And then the home button down here, which is also for the display. So, I'll, I'm not going to go through all the modes, because we'll be here all day. Um, but yeah, you can turn the auto contrast on and off, so it'll change the backlight to uh, black or white automatically. Or you can turn that off or toggle it um, between high and low, whichever whichever you desire. Uh, if we click right on the little joystick, that goes to the styles. We're currently on style setting 2. Uh, style 1 looks like looks like that. And style 3 uh, looks like that. 
fact, I might ride with that for a while. I quite like that one. Uh, then if we hit right again, you've got lap timers and all sorts of stuff there. Speed, all the usual sort of stuff. I mean, at the top there, you notice you've got the time and the outside temperature. Uh, coolant temperature. Uh, what's that? The odometer. I think that 27 hours, 46. Is that total ride time, perhaps? I don't know. There's, there is loads of stuff there. Uh, miles per gallon, average, real-time miles per gallon, fuel range, and, uh, yeah, back to the contrast. Uh, now, if I click the Home button here, there is uh, all the rider mode settings. So you have... Uh, rider, rain, road, sport, and track. And in these, you can also toggle whether you want what mode you want the ABS in. So you can have it in track, road, or off. Uh, I'm going to keep all this the same. I'm not going to bother changing this. So you can customize it to uh, your own preferences. So yeah, if you want it in sport mode, and you will say you want to. Uh, oh no, you can't turn it off on sport mode. <laughs> um, road mode. Let's have a look through there. So ABS. It's only going to be in road mode. You change the mapping to be in road, rain, or sport. Um, yeah, it's all customizable. Um, and then I think that rider one that is a fully, yeah, that's a fully customizable one. So you can put all the settings in there that you were uh, that you want to use in the different modes. So there you go. Yeah, all sorts of stuff there. The bike setup, I'll, pff, I'll indicators. What's all this? Automatic. Okay. Are they self cancelling? I don't know. Yeah, look, there's, it, it's a computer. There's all sorts of information in there. Uh, like I said, we'll be here all day if we'll go through all that. So, uh, yeah, let's go back to the uh, back to the main screen. Yeah, so there we go. It's uh, full of technology, this thing. So there we have it. Let's give it a spin, shall we? First of all, seat height, 825 millimetres. It is a little on the tall side for me, of course, and uh, it would be for any, any other short asses out there. Yeah, I can just about manage okay on this, um, but yeah, it is a bit on the top side. But uh, there is the uh, the standard version. I think the uh, the S version. They also do a lower a lower version of that for the shorter rider, uh, which would be uh, the sort of thing you'll be after, I'm sure, if you're uh, about my height. Um, but the weight of this bike, I think the well, the dry weight is 165 kilo, so it is actually pretty light. It's certainly lighter than things I'm used to, my 230 kilo scrambler. Oh, it sounds good, doesn't it? Very flickable, of course. And then the brakes. Wow. That wasn't even, like, maximum effort, that was. That was... I don't know. 30% effort, I think, me putting into that. Them brakes are phenomenal. Phenomenal stopping power. Fourth gear, 40 miles an hour, and go! <laughs> Love it! There we go, that was a steep uphill from 4th, no problem. So this thing, really, it's it's just a weapon, really, isn't it? Um, this is a proper toy for the track, I'd say. Uh, and, of course, uh, just having a blast on.
on the fast roads. It was 121 horsepower and oh, <laughs> it delivers rather well. It's bloody quick. That's uh, that's what I'll say. Absolutely rapid, and that was just from sixth gear. Didn't matter, just does it. Ample amounts of power and torque. Oh, there we go, the display's gone black now, we've gone under the cover of trees. <laughs> And of course this has the arrow exhaust, so it sounds absolutely spectacular. We gotta love the uh, triple sound of a triumph. So much fun. And this has got the uh, Diablo Corsa Super Duper, whatever they're called, the, uh, yeah, Super Corsa tyres on, which are basically slicks, but road legal, road legal slicks, if effectively. There's a tiny bit of a tread pattern on them, <laughs> not much. So yeah, great for the dry, I've no idea how these uh, will perform in the wet. Don't want to find out either, if I'm honest. <laughs> Here we go then, it's got to be done, hasn't it? Yeah, that arrow is uh, pretty nice sounding. And actually, at uh, motorway speeds and stuff, the buffeting, yeah, it's not really much of a problem for me. I haven't found that there's uh, too much wind resistance. But with this, you have got this, um, I want to say fly screen, but it's not. It's just the, that bit above the headlight uh, does do the aerodynamics quite nicely. So I think that helps quite a lot, having that there. Right, I best find a petrol station, because uh, <laughs> we've got an eighth of a tank remaining, I believe, if uh, my maths is correct there, looking at the fuel gauge. Oh, whee! Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. Yes. <laughs> oh dear. Um, oh, no. Oh, I'm going to want to buy one of these, aren't I? Ah, bugger. <laughs> oh, it is. It is good fun. And it is. Uh, it, it, it'll probably kill you, to be honest, but it'll kill you with a smile on your face. <laughs> Shouldn't say things like that. But uh, it is. Wicked fun, super fast, and uh, it's got the brakes to uh, stop you as well. Plenty of technology to suit the uh, the nerdiness in, in you. If you like to know all your tech specs and lap times and all that sort of stuff, you'll say, yeah, it's going to be brilliant for a track. I'd love to uh, take this round of track, actually. Because, yeah, I think it would do rather well. Slow speed is quite easy to uh, easy to do without being too wobbly. It's nicely balanced. It's also very lightweight as well. I think I mentioned about the seat height earlier. It is a little on the tall side for me, as most bikes are, uh, but it's quite manageable. And with it being lightweight as well, it's um, it's not too uh, too much of an issue really.
Filtering wise, shouldn't be too much trouble. It's not uh, particularly wide. It may look like it. I think the uh, the bar end mirrors make it look a bit wider than it is. But yeah, because the ride by wire throttle, there's no jerkiness in the throttle and things like that. It's all nice and smooth, easy to control. The bike's lightweight, nice and balanced, easy. Anyway, it's time to take this back to the dealership. And uh, in summary then, wow, this is so much fun. I would definitely have one. This is going to make my scrambler feel really slow now, isn't it? <laughs> we'll soon see. Uh, but yeah, loads of fun uh, on the road. And uh, it's certainly something that you'd, uh, you'd want to take out on a track to uh, use it to its full potential. Because really on the road, you're never really going to use it all. Not legally anyway. <laughs> Yes, fantastic machine. What an engine this thing has. It's brilliant. And uh, yeah, so the, the others in the range, you've got the low version for the short asses like me. And uh, there's a A2 friendly version, which basically has the old engine in it. It's the old 675 engine. So uh, yeah, they're catering a lot for uh, the A2 market and uh, the shorter rider now, which is uh, always a good thing. So yeah, if, if I've piqued your interest in one of these, then uh, certainly get down to your local Triumph dealership and uh, give one a go if you can or uh, look out for them at the bike show at Motorcycle Live that's in November I'm not sure if I'll be going yet um, I may or may not be uh, but I'm sure they'll have uh, the range there for sampling but sadly I must hand this back now so um, big thanks to Destination Triumph here at Washington nice friendly bunch of people if you're in the area come down and see them yeah, very good. And uh, thanks to you guys for watching. So uh, all ride safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.